Matter of fact, let me say my prayers for her. Michael Jeffrey Jordan. MJ. The black cat. Uh, the black Jesus. Jordan. Air Jordan. Let me just stick his dude just stick his tongue out. You stick his tongue out and stuff. Uh you remember back in the day, remember how back in the day we used to think Eddie's movies was real scary? And we go back and look at them now. And it's like, oh, I just, I used to think this was scary. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some people used to idolize a lot as kids. And we got older and realized this person wasn't really doing all that. <laughs> Let me cut straight to the chase. Michael Jordan is not the greatest player to ever play the game. Okay? And I'm, I'm waking up more and more, more and more people starting to get woke. That saying today where they say is you woke, woke this, woke that. I'm starting to wake up more and more, more and more. I'm starting to wake up more and more people. They starting to come. You know, Michael Jordan said, come fly with me. Now y'all come fly with me. Come fly with me. Now, this is a little bit of stolen material that I stole from another YouTuber. But, I'm gonna bring it a little bit more, you know. A little, I'm, gonna put a, I'm gonna put a little more stank on it. You know what I mean? Michael Jordan did not play against no super teams. Okay. Number one, he didn't play against no super teams. He didn't play against Golden State with Durant, Curry, Draymond, the other the bars looking dude. Uh. He didn't play against LeBron, Kevin Love, Kyrie. He didn't play against Kevin Garnett, Ray Allen, and Paul Pierce. You see what I'm saying? He didn't play against these super teams, man. Matter of fact, it was a bunch of expansion teams. The Toronto Raptors, the Charlotte Hornets. He played, had a bunch of gimme wins. You see what I'm saying? Like I say, I stole a little bit of this material. I'm stealing it. But I was our, I gotta, we gotta wake up. I want y'all to not only be politically woke, you know, I talk a lot of, a lot of political woke stuff, but I want y'all to be basketball woke too. Pause. Pause, y'all. Pause. Pause. A lot of flex one good time because, you know, this is a fitness page, but I'm talking my shit today. I'm talking my shit. Boom. He had the greatest, like, I'm tired of y'all playing. Stop playing. Y'all got to stop playing. He Y'all y'all smarter than every other facet except this basketball. He had the greatest coach in the game. He didn't win until Phil got there. He didn't win a championship until Phil got there. He never won one with Doug Collins. He didn't win one with the Wizards. He only won his championships with the greatest coach to ever coach. You seen what he did with Shaq and Kobe and them. We got to stop playing. We got to stop doing this to ourselves, y'all. We're not going to be alive for a long time. We are, but we're but we not. So we got to keep it real with ourselves. Okay? He played with, argue, like, I said, like I said before, Pippen had his own shoes. Y'all was out there in the Pippins going between the leg. Y'all was out there with the Pippins. That's because Pippen was the second best player in the whole NBA. He didn't win until Pippen got there. Second of all, but fifth of all, I got it's so many reasons. Jordan was the greatest ball hog in NBA history. He ranks 43 in assists in the all-time assist. Jordan, I'm I'm talking Phil had to take him out one time. Man, can't. Feel, feels like Jordan, come here, man. God damn, bro. It's four other people on the court with you. The greatest ball hog in, in you know, I mean, some people say he's the greatest player in NBA history. He's also the greatest ball hog in NBA history. He kind of ruined the game. Jordan kind of ruined the game a little bit. 
People, whenever I was little, and we used to act like we was certain players, I used to act like I was like Magic Johnson. I used to kind of act like I was like, you know, I would act like I was like Nick Van Axel. I would act like I was like, you know, Spree or something. Whenever somebody tried to act like they was Jordan, you already knew, okay, this nigga finna shoot this, he finna do. So hold his tongue out, try to do a bunch of reverse layups. He had to try to glide in the air. Even if he didn't have hang time, he would try to glide in the air. Damn, look at my arm, y'all. Look, whenever I played basketball with somebody on the court, I would say, and he'd say, I'm Jordan. And I was like, damn, man. Here we go, man. This nigga not going to pass the ball because he want to be like Jordan. Jordan never passed the ball. Jordan wouldn't pass the ball to save his life, man. Right? And, it, uh, you know, I'm just tired of, I'm tired of the madness, man. It's like we got to wake up. Like, like you define greatness in different ways other than shooting the ball a hundred times. You see what I'm saying? LeBron's greatness, I mean, Topping assists, topping rebounds, make his other team, take, make his other players better. You know what I'm saying? It, it's other ways to define greatness other than shooting the ball a thousand times. You see what I'm saying? Jordan played at an era where he was the most athletic player in the whole on the whole court. Jordan was the most athletic player on the whole court. That's because people's body wasn't developed. People's body wasn't develop the way they are now today jordan would be like a more offensive minded DeRozan or a more offensive minded rudy gay or something a more offensive minded you know um pascal from um from you know so we gotta st we gotta stop y'all jordan couldn't go left whenever he went left he had to pull up see if i would have guarded jordan back in the day i would have just made him go left make him go left why y'all like make make Jordan go left? And uh, he was a terrible team. Like I don't even want to get into the off the court stuff. Like let don't even. I, I mean, I don't even want to get into that. How he didn't speak up for the civil rights movements. They did some some commercial where he said he didn't even want to talk about. He didn't even want to touch on none of that. The gambling, almost got Jamal Crawford killed. You know what I'm saying? I mean. We're not going to talk about the off the court stuff, why he had to really retire from the NBA, the real reason why he had to retire. We're not going to talk about none of that. We're not going to talk about how he got ripped in crunch time. You know, like I say, but the thing is, I keep telling y'all, Jordan was a good player. He was good. And that's not enough. He was good, man. He in the top five for sure. He was a damn good player. I'll tell you that in a minute, man. I'd, I'd rather have that, Jordan, I'd have that Jordan on my team any day. He was a pretty good, he was a solid NBA player. He was solid. But you got to keep it 100, man. He was not the GOAT. If we're doing this by rings, Bill Russell, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if we're doing this by rings, you know, Kareem, you know? I'm just trying to keep it a buck with y'all, man. We got to, if you're going to be woke, pride yourself on being basketball woke. 